The Kentucky Wildcats traveled to Knoxville this afternoon to take on the Tennessee Volunteers, and they left Thompson Bowling Arena with a win 63-56. Needing a bounce-back game after a couple of bad losses, the Cats had another slow start. Only this time, they responded on both ends of the court to take a 33-26 lead into the locker room. The second half became what most expected from both sides as the Cats and Balls entered into a boxing match exchanging blows throughout the final 20 minutes. Fortunately, the Cats threw the knockout punch. Kentucky needed a win in the worst way. They picked up a huge one in Knoxville today. Injury bug continues after some injuries to Cassin Wallace and Jacob Toppin over the last week. It appears the injury bug is still in Lexington. With Damian Collins officially ruled out pregame, and news coming out that Xavier Wheeler would be questionable entering the game, it seemed pretty bleak that the Cats would be able to pull out the win, especially once Wheeler was ruled out. These Cats showed a lot of character today in overcoming seemingly impossible odds to get this win. Saying this, if the Cats hope to continue this turnaround being at full strength is going to be necessary. Frederick and Reeves take steps forward when you look at efficiency numbers, CJ Frederick continues to help Kentucky put the best offense on the court. Same can be said about Antonio Reeves, who was frequently a ghost in Kentucky's biggest matchups, but he's been playing better in said games as of late. With both playing more minutes due to the injuries to Xavier Wheeler and Casson Wallace, Frederick has earned more minutes, especially with how well he's shot the ball over the last two games. For the Cats to make a run to end this season, the offense has to continue growing each game. Frederick and Reeves prove they can help in that category this afternoon in Knoxville. And based on what we've seen lately, these two are capable of being what this team needs to win games versus the nation's best. Fight has been shown all the Big Blue Nation has been wondering what has happened to this Kentucky team. The key word for the season thus far is, fight. Kentucky showed just that today. In a packed arena in Knoxville, against a top five team, Kentucky stood punch for punch with one of the best teams in the country. It wasn't always pretty, but the guys never let up, even when the shots weren't falling on offense. Fight has been shown, and this team now has hope after it appeared all hope had been lost after the setback at home versus South Carolina, which suddenly looks like a potential turning point, a la the 2013-2014 team.